Welcome to the Sharkpreneur Podcast with Kevin Harrington and Seth Green. Kevin Harrington is the inventor of the infomercial, one of the original sharks from the hit TV show Shark Tank, and has generated over $5 billion in TV and digital direct response sales. Seth Green is the world's first trusted authority on cutting edge direct response marketing, a best selling author, and the only three time Marketer of the Year nominee. On the podcast, Kevin and Seth interview sharkpreneurs who share straight talk on what it takes to explode your business. Welcome to the Sharkpreneur Podcast. I am your co-host, Seth Green. With me, as always, is the inventor of the infomercial and the original shark from Shark Tank, Kevin Harrington. Kevin, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks, Seth. Great to be here today, man. Good to see you. Awesome to have you, as always. Today, our very special guest is Brian Ridgeway, the international best-selling author and speaker behind Break Your Self-Help Addiction, who has you know an unheard of 155-star Amazon reviews of his book within a week of it coming out. He's been changing lives all over the all over the world. He is known affectionately as the spellbreaker for his ability to release entrepreneurs from the stress, from the overwhelm, from the limiting beliefs that they don't even know are holding them back. Full disclosure, I am a client of Brian's. Brian, we are thrilled to have you here today. I'm really glad to be on with you guys. Hey, now, Brian, Brian, Seth has a, has a smile on today. Maybe, you know, that's a good thing, I guess. It must have worked, huh? 24-7, <laughs> man. Yeah, that's good. So, Brian, there are literally thousands of courses of tens of thousands of books and programs and conferences and coaching programs and coaches and doctors and therapists all in the field of personal growth and development. However, and I've spent a significant amount of money, as I know you have too, working on my personal development and trying to deal with the anxiety and stress um, and overwhelm of being an entrepreneur and growing a fat hyper growth company. Yet in one session with you, I felt peace like I've never experienced before. What makes you so different? Uh, one of my favorite questions is the, the bottom line is that I taken all of the courses. <laughs> I read every book. I spent $300,000 over about a 30 year period diving into everything that was supposed to work. And my life got worse until I, I literally had this awakening experience. I was homeless, six figures in debt. I finally was suicidal because I knew I was creating it. I, I, I agreed with all the books. I agreed with the law of attraction. I knew I was creating it and I had no idea how. And so I hit this rock bottom place where I literally was ready to end it. And all that I can really say to make it simple is I woke up. I literally woke completely up. This idea that the universe is energy went from being an idea for me to being an ever-present reality. And so when I sit down with someone, it doesn't matter if they bring me a fatal disease that they're diagnosed with or a 40-year issue with money or a repeating relationship issue. I can literally see down into the roots of exactly what it is, what's causing it. I have a strange gift to be able to help them to see it. And somehow in that magic, the issue just dissolves out of their body. And it's literally miraculous. I mean, you know, we're supposed to say results, not typical. Well, I can't say that because the, the least people have with me is ahas, epiphanies, and breakthroughs, and normally miracles. So that difference is I see the absolute root of the issue, and I'm able to help them see it, and it just falls away. So Brian, one of the qu uh, questions that this brings to my mind is that a lot of people that are going day to day are, you know, some are successful, some are having problems, but you know, how does someone know that, you know, they, they have a problem if, if they're just kind of going through the motions on a daily basis? I mean, is there, you know, how do they know that they, they should be reaching out to you or reaching out to somebody for some help? Yeah, that, that is a is super brilliant question. What I find is a really simple way. I, I haven't met anyone yet. I've worked with billionaires and I've helped homeless people on the street and I've, it's universal. Okay. So there's one of two things. There's either something in your life that you really, 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 really want. It might be that ultimate intimate relationship. It might be a certain number in your bank account. doesn't matter. No matter what you do, it's eluding you or flip the coin around. There's something in your life you really don't want. And no matter where you go and no matter what you do, it's biting you on the ass, you know, again and again. If you got either one of those and everybody has one, 
Um, for entrepreneurs, it's really that, usually it's that glass ceiling. It's, um, it's a combination of procrastination, overwhelm, lack of clarity, or their life just getting so out of balance. And when the, when the pain gets intense enough, they start that self-help personal development journey. And usually for me, when they've finished it and they still have that crucial thing that nothing is addressed, they just find me. <laughs> there you go. Well, I mean, and so now with, with your book, Seth mentioned all these five-star reviews. So you're getting, you know, it's, it's, you're getting it out there. What, how else are you getting the message about you out into the marketplace? Oh, wow. I, I spent almost six years just helping people. Like literally, you know, as I say, I was at rock bottom. I had generated $161 million in, in different industries and I made it and lost it all those times. So when I started this as a business six years ago, it was just intuitive. This is what you're on the planet to do. So I started doing it. Had no idea what I was doing or how to get the word out for a business like that. How do you, how do you tell somebody I help people literally experience miracles and dissolve not only their problems, but the illusion of problems and step into their infinite being. How do you say that? So for six years, I basically just helped people and collected testimonials where I, today I have probably about 300 video testimonials. I mean, I have more testimonials than anyone I've ever seen and proving this impossible claim. Right. And I also have probably about 10,000 social media um, kudos and testimonials. So with that, cluster of stuff everybody sharing my stuff has been my main thing and then just about a month ago i was joined by some seth i helped him and he stepped right in and said let me help you get the word out this is amazing people will need to see this and so i've had some brilliant marketers that have that i've helped who have jumped in and started to help me get the message out so now with the book social media that's been my main push and then word of mouth has really done it why did you call the book break yourself help addiction uh, you know, I noticed even in the first three or four months when I started doing this, I noticed that 40 to 60% of my clients, the people that were seeking me out, were either therapists, law of attraction experts, coaches, mentors, healers, uh, people that help others, and that the vast majority of them, as well as everybody else who was coming to me had spent a ton of time, money, and energy on personal and professional development. They had spent so much money and so much effort on so many different things. And they were at the place generally of either being just pissed off, frustrated, or really in deep pain. And so the, the, it was almost a joke. The title of the book was almost a joke. And yet, how many times have you heard the phrase self-help junkie? So it's, it's literal, and I've been shocked at how many people have been able to relate to it. So I help people to solve all of their problems, dissolve the illusion of problems, make this idea of infinite possibilities their daily reality. Make the idea that Einstein and all the great teachers said, there's no physical universe here, guys. This is our constraint to make the reality, oh, no, actually, this is an energy universe, and I am in infinite possibilities. And I'm the last piece of self-help <laughs> or personal development they need because once they have that shift, they no longer are chasing the next book, the next book. And I, I want to go a little tiny bit further, Seth. You said you had spent a lot of time and money on personal development and that you felt more and more frustrated because this one looks like it's going to work. And, oh, damn, that one didn't work. Okay, this, this is the one. I can see this. that one didn't. It's either not deep results or it's not lasting results you know, or it takes way too long. And so that frustration builds, but did you stop purchasing? No, because the pain's still there. <laughs> the fact that that solution didn't work, the pain's still there. So I'm that last step. I'm the last piece of self-help. So Brian, in, in a process like this, there's a transformation that occurs. Yeah. Um, so, and with, and you've seen, you know, this happening now with hundreds of your people and patients and, 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 folks uh, that have gone through it, what are some of the biggest things that people are saying have happened for them in terms of the transformation that they've had? There's clarity, a mind, more time in their calendars, uh, more energy. What, what are the kinds of things people experience after going through one of your programs? All right, there's my favorite question. <laughs> Thank you, Kevin. <laughs> All right, so here is the magic. And, you know, I've got to preface this. If you look at any of my websites, you're going to see 
more proof, more evidence than you could possibly ever need. I'm, what I'm gonna say right now is gonna sound almost ridiculous. I'll give you a, an example, one person, Joan Tremblay, 25 year veteran of personal dev, corporate coach, corporate trainer, master NLP trainer, master hypnotist, and master hypnot uh, hypnotism trainer, done it all, been through it all, every seminar, every course. She came to me with health and body issues, relationship issues, and was starting to go into another level of money issues. Just had everything was going on. I spent a, about 15 minutes with her and a health issue released and she felt something huge open up in her relationship. So she did what some people do when they step to the highest level. They actually come and spend four days with me in Hawaii and we literally just dissolve everything. She left my house, emailed me uh, probably about three days later. She had tripled her income. The biggest deal she had ever had in her life came through. Her relationships went through the roof. Her connect connection with her child completely transformed. People in her life that she didn't communicate with instantly started to respond to her differently. So when I do what I do, and Seth asked me a question that I gave the short answer to, so I'm, I'm skimming over a little bit here, but when I address the core constraint in a person, I don't, I don't deal with the problem they brought me. I take them to their truth that they're an infinite, unlimited being. And when that happens, Kevin, literally everything in the person's life begins to shift. When you go to the root of the root of the root of all the issues, everything can change. And sometimes, sometimes it's overnight. And I've, I've sat down with people that had cancer, uh, whether I knew they had cancer or not. I've had both scenarios. And after 30 minutes, an hour of talking, they don't have it. Um, a lady with scoliosis can't you can't heal that I mean there's no treatment she had it for 30 years her spine was curved she could barely breathe having major problems in her business how could that be related and one hour <laughs> everything shifted she ended up becoming a client and in a later session we were discussing body issues and I took her through a kind of some would call it a guided visualization it's more than that and her spine straightened out that happened on live video we have the evidence of it so there's no claim being made here it's like it's right there on video we're in a group yeah so yeah. everything can literally change Does it, you know money family health uh sex <laughs> wealth you know all, all across the board it sounds like you know that you're, you're you have some major uh contributions there for people that's that's pretty amazing yeah well we're, we're actually the the bottom line is that we are all infinite limitless energy some of us are ready to hear that and some of us that just sounds like some woo woo crazy what the hell is he talking about but for those that are ready to experience that we're actually energy this law of attraction thing is way bigger than anybody's talking about and when someone's ready to experience that all of the problems can disappear it's, it's still blows my mind every time and i, I never get tired of <laughs> the results that happen you know i i gotta i gotta throw this out guys a few days ago, a lady was reading my book. She watched one of the supplemental videos. She, she's in her 70s, and she had a prolapsed uterus, okay? Not a pleasant physical experience. It had come out of her body. She had tried everything. She was finally at the doorway of surgery after years of resisting it. She watched the video where this lady released scoliosis. It's a free video that I include with my book. Her uterus pulled back into her body. Mm, okay. Wow. These things cannot happen. And yet when we accept that we're infinite, unlimited energy, it's not spiritual woo woo. It's the real ask Einstein. He was telling everybody, they just wouldn't hear him. They would rather talk about E, -M -E equals MC squared because that was more convenient and acceptable. Yeah. yeah. He said it. So here we are in infinite possibilities. Hey Seth, I hope that's not what happened to you. <laughs> no. <laughs> no prolapse uterus here, Kevin. Thank you, Thank you so okay. much for that awesome right. visual. There you go. Okay. <laughs> Ryan, as entrepreneurs, uh, you're a business owner yourself and have had immense success in a number of different industries. We deal with stress and anxiety and overwhelm and making payroll and all sorts of amazing issues that could have serious detrimental effects on our psyche and our health. What are some of the most common things that you see business owners facing that keep coming up over and over and over again? Well, you know what's so interesting? You literally just said it. And it's, it is a combination of 
overwhelm and confusion and stress and it leads to procrastination and if all of it clusters together into this glass ceiling now the only question is how high will the person allow themselves to rise because some will let themselves get up to the six figure mark and then that's it and some people can make it to the million mark some people can make it to the five million mark eventually we hit that glass ceiling in some way so what i see is it is actually deep childhood trauma that everybody on this planet like it or not experience some version of it being told no forcefully by the person you look up to who provides for you and takes care of you can be enough to put you into a tailspin and i've seen it again and again and again and those feelings lead to i don't deserve i can't have and i'm really summarizing this in the simplest possible terms i don't deserve i can't have and if i do get it i'm going to suffer and so some people won't let themselves, they use the procrastination, the overwhelm and all that stress, they use it to keep themselves from actually getting what they want without ever knowing they're the ones creating the whole thing. Wow. So will actually allow themselves three categories. One, they won't let themselves get it. Two, they let themselves get it, but they find really creative ways to lose it. And third, oh man, money's no issue. I can make as much as I want, but everything else gets completely out of balance and I make myself suffer in other ways. That overwhelm that stress is all inner early childhood emotions that are still showing up now they found a way to show up in our entrepreneurial pursuits because we're convinced that we're grown-ups now <laughs> we've reached this new level but those things that aren't dealt with they come up now in our entrepreneurial pursuits if, if you think about it any stress you've experienced as an entrepreneur it's the exact same feelings that you felt when you're experiencing stress in the educational system. It's the exact same emotions. Yes. Yeah. Same emotions. So Brian, do you, when you work with, with uh, people, entrepreneurs in particular, let's talk about that. Is it better in a one-on-one -on -one environment or can you work with, do you work with groups? Or, you know, do you do masterminds or how, what, what's the process? Great question, man. I'm telling you what, I'm having a blast with you guys. Thank you so much. <laughs> Best <laughs> questions ever. Um, I was shocked when I first started doing this, I was doing one, I, I, I approached it so simply. You know what? I meet someone, I help them. Hey, I'm going to do one-on-one -on -one phone calls. And I found out quickly what coaches find. You can only help so many people. You got so many hours. And so I started working with groups and I was shocked to find out that I can be with a group online of 700 people. I can be on stage with six, seven, eight hundred people. I can be in a hangout with me and nine people and have 300 people watching on YouTube. Or I can be sitting one on one with somebody in my living room. The results are not affected at all. And sometimes in a group setting. So we're all, you know, that spiritual statement, we're all one. Well, that's yeah. actually. That's actually a daily reality for me. Like I've, I've experienced it as deep fundamental truth that there's no, no more woo woo in it. It's just how it is. We're literally one energy. So when I'm with a group and one person brings up, I was in Belgium um, three or four weeks ago and I did a group, worked with a group of people, almost all entrepreneurs. One person brings up their issue. They dare to voice it and bring it up. And in a matter of seconds, everybody in the room is nodding because we all, or there's a saying, what's most personal is actually most universal. We all got it. It's just very, right. right? So I work with that person directly and I help them dissolve that issue in their core. And we literally watch everybody in the room have their own version of that breakthrough from their angle. So sometimes it's even more effective in a group setting. Um, I've done a, a money spell break with somebody. I have 300 people in a group. I'm working with one person. I get a message over the next three or four days. I get messages from everybody saying they had similar breakthroughs. And I'm, I'm even going to push it one level further on, on my book website. I gave away probably a $10,000 personal dev course. No kidding. With my book that's available right now for three bucks on Amazon and free on my website. Okay. I did a money spell break with an entrepreneur in the Philippines who credits me with him owning part of an island <laughs> and the stuff that I did with him five years ago. He reached hmm. out a few months ago and we did another money spell break for him to quit losing some of what he was gaining. I've had at least a hundred in the last three months, at least a hundred people that watch that session later as a replay. 
that have had money breakthroughs. Because so yeah, the group said not only does group or one on one not matter, but location and time don't even seem to matter. Yeah, <laughs> Einstein was right. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> yeah. So, so you work with a lot of entrepreneurs. Uh, this seems to be an area. I mean, first of all, I said it's our sweet spot. Seth and I, you know, we deal in a lot of in the direct marketing world. Electric, you know, I'm in electronic retailing. I, you know, and I'm actually one of the original founders of um, the entrepreneurs organization. We're in 150 cities, 45 countries around the world. So um, wherever you go, you got a group. You know, in my network of entrepreneurs from the EO, it's 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 great to see. That. In fact, I think Seth, didn't you and I meet at one of those entrepreneur uh, yes, networking groups up in New York? I think it was. So um, that is this is an amazing, um, you know, magical transformation for entrepreneurs. And I think that um, you know it's so there's a there's a a way for people to start without having to. You know, I mean, you have processes that they can follow. You mentioned for as little as three dollars, or you know, kind of entry level. So this isn't something where you gotta, you know, I mean, you can move into a more formal, you know, kind of personalized thing as you go. But this is a great opportunity for people just to give it a try. They can just, you know, go to your website, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. And we will put the links to both that and the um, most current offering. He has for specifically for entrepreneurs. Those those will be in the show descriptions. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've actually decided. Brian, anything else you want to leave us with? Yeah, I, I do. In, interesting and perfect timing, Kevin. What you what you just said about this this statement about entrepreneurs. Like I have helped sixty something thousand people in eighty three countries at every income level in every area, and I've always felt I'm I'm an entrepreneur myself, and I I have felt this for a long time. And about three months ago, it crystallized for me to focus the vast majority of my efforts. I'll always have free stuff out there for everybody. Um, and I really wanted to focus on entrepreneurs. I, I was given a mission. That's the only way I know how to say it. I was given and, and I received a mission of helping 300 million people to actually become free. Now, not to solve a problem, but to actually become free. And that some would say that's a big mission. And I know the way to do that is by helping entrepreneurs because when I help any entrepreneur, Number one, they're not the people sitting on the couch, right? They're the ones that want to do something. They are aggressive and ambitious and they want freedom. And when, yeah. I, when I help Seth, okay, Seth and I communicate and Seth has this breakthrough that he's been looking for for how many years? Decade. Yeah, and like a, a quarter million dollars worth of investment and we spend 15 minutes on the phone and he goes, what the hell just happened, okay? He cannot not share that love and that awesomeness with his entire workplace. He cannot not go home and have that touch his woman and his kids and his family and his life. So by touching one entrepreneur, I know I'm making the biggest impact. And by helping groups of entrepreneurs, I'm literally catapulting all the people around me into that freedom that they're seeking. And it's, it's really, it's the highest leverage and it's the greatest joy. That's, you said you remarked on my smile. Man, this is 24-7. <laughs> That's beautiful. Fantastic. Well, it's great to meet you, Brian. And, um, you know, I might have to get my own 15 minutes with you here and have a little uh, little, little breakthrough and see how it goes. Because I love, I love what you're talking about, and I appreciate your, you know, your, you're making this offer. Hey, 300 million people, if, you know, you can't do it an hour at a time. So you've got to get the influencers like ourselves to be able to help you get that out there. And that's part of what we're here to do today is to help you get the message to the masses. So uh, thank you for being part of our program today. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you, Seth. This has been truly awesome, and I hope it blesses everybody out there that's listening. Thanks so much for listening to this special productivity series of the Direct Response Marketing Podcast. I've interviewed hundreds of the most successful entrepreneurs, thought leaders, and CEOs all over the world, and I want to share with you one of the biggest ways I've discovered to triple your productivity that I've learned from these amazing people. Even better, I'll pay you $500 to test drive it. Just go to takethe500challenge.com. That's www.takethe500challenge.com to learn more. Thanks so much for listening.